Good morning. Today, I'm here to discuss our latest efforts to grapple with the impact of the COVID-19 crisis here in Los Angeles. I'm going to talk today about our efforts to protect consumers against false and misleading promises, and also our efforts to enforce the mayor's safer at home order. And I have several key announcements to make this morning. Regarding false and misleading claims, I'm, going to, I'm here to announce that my office has obtained a stipulated judgment, a court order, uh, in a case that we filed just last week against a company uh, called Root MD Inc. for allegedly advertising and selling in-home exposure and immunity test kits for the virus. The kit that was allegedly sold is not approved by the Federal Food and Drug Administration. Under this court-approved stipulated judgment, uh, Root MD has the following obligations. First, it is prevented from advertising or selling this home test kit unless and until it gets what it does not have now, which is FDA approval for that product. Second, Root MD is required to be accountable for its actions by paying civil penalties. And third, the company is required to provide full restitution to customers who purchased this test kit, uh, which allegedly sold for $249 per kit. Now, this is the second such case that we have successfully resolved in a very short span of time against companies allegedly selling home test kits that are not approved by the FDA. Our office is continuing to focus on this issue because it's so important to everyone in our community that we have the facts and legitimate products that actually protect us. Now, the FDA has, in the past week, approved one in-home test kit. Um, it still requires authorization from a healthcare provider, and it still requires a lab to administer the results. But neither the Root MD test kit nor the other test kit that our office had successfully took action against has that FDA approval. In this crisis, our residents need to know if they are positive or negative. And an in-home kit that is not approved by the FDA could easily provide false hope false promises. It could easily provide to them misinformation that actually results in the inadvertent spreading of the illness. So this is an incredibly important role for our office to be playing. Let me discuss the details of the case for just a second. Um, in this instance, uh, Root MD, which is a Santa Monica-based company, uh, allegedly marketed this at-home at exposure and immunity test kit with a variety of claims. They claim that these test kits could be used to check blood pressure, uh, pardon me, to check blood testing on your own terms. The claim was that this is the first test kit to offer at-home collection from this uh, testing, allowing all who order the test to easily collect and ship their sample in the convenience of safety of their home. And Root MD allegedly also falsely claimed the test was allowed under emergency FDA guidelines. This falls in a series of other actions that our office has taken, in revolving around issues like the use of vitamins to treat or prevent the illness, regarding other types of products like Silver Solution, marketed by Jim Baker in The Jim Baker Show, regarding other claims and price gouging, where our office has taken strong action regarding masks and hand sanitizer, and there's more coming on the front of price gouging. The other facet of this announcement today has to do with enforcing the mayor's safer at home order. Now, I want to say again, as I have said publicly on many occasions, I deeply understand the desperate need that our businesses have to reopen as soon as it's safe to do so. Businesses have bills to pay and they have employees to pay who are depending on them every single day. But we'll get back to work sooner and get back to our routine sooner if everyone complies with the mayor's safer at home order in the first place. I have two announcements to make today regarding our enforcement of the safer at home order. order. First, just an hour ago, a state superior court judge again uh, ruled against a challenge to the safer at home order. Our office again successfully defended that order against a challenge. 
This challenge was brought by a company which brought a previous challenge, a company called Turner Operations, which brought a previous challenge uh, to the order because it sells guns. And the court denied that challenge. Today, Turner sought to be exempted from the order on the ground that, uh, on several different grounds, relating to um, the way it sells its weapons to law enforcement, relating to the fact that it claims it's more similar to a pawn shop uh, than other kinds of operations it has, and the court rejected those challenges. This is the third time in a very short period of time that our office has successfully defended the order in an emergency context before a judge. The other announcement I wanted to make today has to do with the enforcement of our order regarding non-essential businesses more broadly. Our office is charged with enforcing that order against non-essential businesses. Now, our neighbor prosecutors have been repurposed to this challenge, and they've risen to it. More than 200 times, our office has successfully gotten companies, gotten businesses here in Los Angeles, which are non-essential to voluntarily close their doors. It's the right thing to do for public health and public safety, and those businesses, the lion's share, have been very compliant. But there remain businesses who defy the mayor's safer at home order. Those businesses are non-essential, and when they are, our office will prosecute. Today I'm announcing that our office has, pro has filed an additional um, 21 prosecutions. Um, those add, are added to the 28 that we've already filed, so we now have 49 criminal cases pending against allegedly non-essential businesses in our city, and there are more on the way until all non-essential businesses comply. All the businesses who are complying shouldn't be disadvantaged by those non-essential businesses that aren't. And non-essential businesses that remain open jeopardize our health and safety of our families, of our loved ones, and those non-essential businesses that stay open also lengthen the time before we're able to all go back to work again because they are having people congregate in those locations. We should be following public health directives. Those are the directives that guide Mayor Garcetti's safer at home order and his judgments, and they should be guiding the judgments of those who operate non-essential businesses in our city as well. 49 prosecutions now pending. Uh, there will be more until all non-essential businesses comply. I also want to point out that of the additional 21 uh, uh, prosecutions that I've announced this morning, 19 pertain to stores that sell tobacco. Uh, I want to urge all Angelinos not to patronize stores, non-essential businesses that sell tobacco products. Those businesses are non-essential. You shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be open. And we're going to clamp down on them when they remain open anyway. The full list of businesses uh, who we are prosecuting for allegedly remaining open in violation of the order can be found at our, our website, lacityattorney.org uh, backslash COVID-19. Now, I want to thank, in the strongest possible terms, our exceptional team of attorneys who are instrumental in creating the outcomes that I'm announcing this morning. Our consumer protection team, Christina Tucson, Will Pletcher, Miguel Ruiz, Rebecca uh, Morse, uh, and Will Rivera. Our Safer at Home Order Enforcement team is also doing extraordinary work. And Ayelet Feynman and Tamar Galatson are leading our neighborhood prosecutors in that effort, again, doing an exceptional job. Our tobacco enforcement operations also are crucial to the enforcement of the order because, as I've discussed, a disproportionate number of non-essential businesses on about whom we've now filed cases have been tobacco stores. And Selena Porras and Vanessa Alvarado from that unit have been doing a great job. I also want to thank today's interpreters, Rick Pope, who gets to thank himself on live TV, uh, and um, Ar Arlene Navarez, who is going to be speaking in a moment. And I always want to thank our partners at LA City View Channel 35 for rising to every single challenge in the midst of this crisis to enable us to communicate the messages we're describing here today. Thank you to all at Channel 35. I want to say a few words in Spanish, and then if there are questions, I'm happy to entertain those questions as well. So, uh, now, in Espanol. Hoy estoy anunciando que mi oficina ha resuelto una demanda judicial 
que presentamos en contra de Root MD Inc. Uh, por presuntamente anunciar y vender un kit de prueba de inmunidad y exposición en el hogar para el virus no aprobado por la Administración de Drogas y Alimentos, the FDA. Como resultado, Root MD firmó una estipulación acordando poner fin a supuesta compañía de comercialización y ventas de kits de prueba en el hogar, aceptar la responsabilidad mediante el pago de sanciones civiles y proporcionar restitución en forma de reembolos, reembolosos completos a los consumidores que compraron los kits de prueba en el hogar. Con todo el énfasis en la importancia de aumentar las pruebas para COVID-19, las compañías que venden kits de prueba en el hogar no aprobados creen falsas esperanzas, confusión y ansiedad. En esta crisis, la salud de los angelinos depende de información precisa y confiable de, y, y de productos legítimos que realmente pueden ayudarlos. Okay, now, other questions. There are no questions. Apparently that was the clearest exposition of key issues we've had in a while. I want to thank our team members for joining us today and uh, look forward to continuing to make announcements of the key role that our office is playing and in protecting public health and safety. And as I conclude, I want to underscore, all of us know that we in Los Angeles have the ability to get through this. These times are tough. They're demanding a great deal from each of us. But we will rise to the challenge as we have thus far. And when we do, as a community, we're going to recover and recover beautifully. Thanks very much.